Welcome to Mission Works, thanks to donors. In today's episode, I want to share another reason why we truly are thankful to you, donors to our Lord's mission through Concordia Seminary. For 15 years, Diane and I were privileged to live on campus in House One. It's one of 12 faculty homes built way back in the mid-1920s. The first to live in House One were President and Mrs. Francis Pieper. I can't tell you how many times I thought about him. Many a time I put my hand on the railing leading to the second floor and I thought, President Pieper used this same railing. And he and his wife Minnie probably sat in the same alcove where Diane and I sat every evening. Ha, I'm sure the Peepers weren't on laptops and maybe they actually talked to one another. But here's the downside. When Diane and I sat there in winter, we felt the cold air pouring through the old inefficient windows. When it rained, water came into the basement and you could find mold. That was true for all the faculty homes. Thanks to donors, these historic homes are being renovated. Let's watch a video. This was prepared when we were beginning the renovations. After we see it, I'll share an important update. The year was 1926. That's when Concordia Seminary moved to its current 72-acre campus in suburban St. Louis, Missouri. Not only did the campus include the familiar collegiate Gothic buildings to educate and house students, it also included 12 beautiful Tudor-style brick houses on the northern edge of campus where the original faculty members lived. The homes, many of them mirror images of one another, are located on North Seminary Terrace. Because the professors lived on campus, they were accessible and available to the seminarians they were helping prepare for ministry. Numerous esteemed faculty members and seminary presidents have lived in the homes over the years. You may recognize some of the names. Pieper, Bowman, Johnson, Meyer, Fritz, Hummel, Preuss, Fuhrerbringer, Grabner, and Meyer. More than 600 people have lived in the homes. These homes are integral to the history and heritage of the seminary, but they have fallen into disrepair in the 90 plus years since they were constructed. With about 2,000 square feet of space, the homes need much work to bring them up to code and to make them comfortable for modern families. Walls need to be replastered, floors patched and repaired, woodwork sanded, stained or painted, wiring updated, energy efficient windows installed, unfinished attic spaces and original coal rooms cleaned and brightened, and kitchens and bathrooms gutted and outfitted with new appliances, cabinets and countertops. In many of the homes, a second full bathroom also must be added. Outside, exterior walls will be tuck pointed and original slate tile roofs tightened. Sewer lines, HVAC units and irrigation systems will be either upgraded or replaced. Landscaping will be added to help the homes better blend with the lush campus grounds that surround them. Despite all of the work needed, the original look and feel of the houses will be maintained and preserved. Step into the homes and you will immediately notice their charming character. Stunning wood trim, arched doorways, family room fireplaces, bookcase lined studies, screened in porches, and wide stairwells leading to cozy upstairs rooms. This is no small project. That's why we need you. You can partner with us to restore the 12 original seminary faculty houses to their former glory so they can once again serve their important role in contributing to a living, learning environment that is conducive to a vibrant spirit of community on campus. You can be part of the legacy of Concordia Seminary by helping preserve these historic homes and creating safe and comfortable housing so current and future faculty members and students can call Concordia Seminary the place where they're being educated and formed for ministry, also their home. When I was president, I talked with presidents of other seminaries throughout the United States. I learned in ways I had not realized before how Concordia Seminary is regarded. Your seminary is venerable because of its age and known to be strong in its mission. 
This video has shown how integral these historic homes have been in our mission. Now today, not all faculty live on campus, but these old homes symbolize our historic and continuing commitment to the mission of this campus. Now the update. You donors came through. All original 12 homes have been renovated. Well, almost all. House one is the last to be done. When the next president and his wife sit in that alcove, they'll be warm in the winter. One generous gift established an endowment for the constant upkeep of these historic homes. To honor that donor, Faculty Row is now called McCall Terrace. You have seen construction works. This is mission construction works. We thank you, our donors.